Hey everybody, welcome back to the Clinical Trials Guru.com. Again, it's the Clinical Trials Guru.com. Just wrapped up an interview with Director of Clinical Innovation for Pfizer, Craig Lipset. Video will be uploaded soon. I'm doing some editing on it as far as the audio, um, just to get it just perfect for you guys, okay? But I'm doing another video right now because I got a question and it's good. And it's one that I've talked about in the past, but I'm just going to answer it rather bluntly here. Um, and by the way, for those of you who are new, welcome. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube. Why? Because you get access to all my content way before I ever publish it on my blog, theclinicaltrailsguru.com. Um, I mean, you'll get my content as soon as I upload it. On the blog, sometimes you got to wait like two or three weeks for this video to actually go on my blog. And you want to subscribe to the blog too because I do lots of emails on there. Well, not lots, but I will do. I do emails on there. Well, I'll just basically do private Q&A sessions with people or I'll announce new things that I'm working on, new projects that might be beneficial to you like my CRA Training Academy, or like webinars that I have planned, just lots of cool stuff. Giveaways too, I do all kinds of giveaways. Um, I just read Zorba the Greek, so I'll, I'll be giving away that book to someone. I gotta think of the contest, it'll be something easy. Um, and then I'll do a video review on that book. So yeah, you wanna subscribe to YouTube and the blog. Now that that's out of the way, and that took long enough, um, I wanted to answer this person's question, so if you have a question, send it in, dan at theclinicaltrialsguru.com. I'll keep you anonymous. Also, find me on every social network you can think of. I love them all. Most recently, Snapchat. Add me, Dan Svera. Okay, this is for someone who's starting a research clinic. They have a, identified a PI. The PI is actually a friend of theirs. Um, and he wants, this person used to be a coordinator. So they want to know what kind of contract he should have the PI sign, what it should look like. Uh, he's considering a 70-30 split, meaning 70 goes to him, 30 goes to the PI. Um, uh, could you help on that end? Um, and then I'll get into your other one. So I've done videos on this question before. Here's the thing, if you're going to actually partner with this PI, like if he's going to be an equity partner and you're asking whether 30% is enough equity for him, I would say yes, uh, that's fair as far as his equity, meaning if you guys start an LLC, is it fair to give him 30% of the equity and you get 70? Yes, because you're going to be doing most of the work, so I think that's a fair breakdown. Now. If you're 100% owner of your LLC and you're going to pay him 30% of the gross payments once you get them in from the sponsors, I think that's a little too high actually. What I do with my PIs, when I first started, I owned 100% of my site. So I would go the route where I would pay them a percentage of the steady payments once they came in. And what I would pay them would be 20%. Now, what I pay them, because I have a little more leverage, because I have a bigger infrastructure and they can just literally plug in and get going, I pay them anywhere from 8 to 12%. So I recommend you find the magic number there for you that, that the PI is happy with, anywhere from 8 to 20, okay? Obviously, try to get what you can, but also be fair. I think 30 is too high. Although I think 30 is good if you're actually doing an LLC where you're talking about them getting 30% equity in your company. Um, there's contracts for this. I do consulting. So email me. I can help you set this up. <clears throat> now, your second question is interesting. It says, where <laughs> to source <coughs> the funding? Sorry, I'm just getting over this cold. Could you help on that end with the contract? Yes. Email me. Could you um, also where to source funding to cover at least month one? Look, you're going to need a lot more than one month. Okay. Let's assume you get a study tomorrow, which is not going to happen. But let's assume you get a study tomorrow. Or maybe you already have a study. Maybe I have uh, 
maybe my information is not, not up to date with your situation. Let's say you have a study tomorrow, okay? Let's say you even have an SIV tomorrow, site initiation visit, meaning that after tomorrow you can start screening patients, right? You're still not going to get paid for at least two to three months. You might get an advance payment, but that might be, not be for 30 to 60 days, and you have to invoice them based on your contract. <clears throat> and even if your contract says monthly payments, your first payment may not come for three months, maybe even more, because the first payments are always delayed because sponsors and CROs are always trying to figure out their systems. Um, and unfortunately, they do it after the study starts rather than before. So there's always delayed payments at the beginning of studies. Later on, they usually become more regularly scheduled payments if you're enrolling. So having enough funding for one month is not, is not enough. I think you're giving yourself too short of a runway. What I would do is probably talk to the PI about, um, you know, maybe doing the work for free under each scenario, whether you're giving him equity in the company or paying him a percentage of the check when you get it, he will be working for free anyways. Um, and you're a study coordinator, so be prepared to work for free yourself. Then you have the whole issue of rent. Um, maybe you're using the office space of your PI. Even then, you need certain supplies. Uh, you need uh, medication rooms, you need locked cabinets, you need to pay for the telephone. Maybe you can piggyback off of the infrastructure of a private practice that's already out there. This would be like the SMO model. Even then, one month of funding is not enough, okay? But you need those studies. I don't know where you are in that timeline. Um, you need to at least prepare for three to six months of funding, at least, all right, rather than just one month. So hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any other questions. Let me know if this answered your question. And thank you guys for watching. Dan from theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Until next time, take care.